I'm the Rules Girl, and this is Dreadfane, a tactical miniatures game from Games Workshop's Warhammer Underworlds, for two players. In Dreadfane, players assemble a unique warband and duke it out to determine supremacy. You win by being the last warband left standing, or by having the most glory points, earned by completing objectives and eliminating enemy fighters. Players start the game with a number of fighters with unique abilities power cards for special upgrades and actions, and objective cards, which grant glory points once fulfilled. Dreadfane is played over a number of rounds, with three phases in each. 1. The Hazard Phase, 2. The Action Phase, and 3. The End Phase. To start, one player draws and resolves hazard cards, one at a time, equal to the current round's value. Next, it's time for the Action Phase. Both players roll off. Each player takes four dice and rolls them, with the player rolling the highest number of these symbols winning. Ties are broken by the player rolling more of these than these, re-rolling from the beginning if necessary. The winner of the roll-off chooses who takes the first activation. Both players have four activation tokens for the round, which can be spent on activating a fighter and taking one action, or spending one of three player actions. Each fighter can move, attack, charge, guard, and take its special action. Player actions include drawing a power card, discarding then drawing a new objective card, or passing. To move a fighter, choose one, then move it through adjacent hexes up to its move characteristic. After, that fighter takes a move token, which shows the fighter cannot be moved again this round. To attack, choose one fighter with a valid target that is within its range and line of sight. This number shows your fighter's range, and these spaces on the board break line of sight if you can't draw a line from any corner of your fighter's space to your target space. Next, roll attack dice equal to your fighter's chosen attack action. These symbols are always a critical success, and depending on your fighter, these symbols might also be successes. Now, your target rolls defense dice equal to their defense characteristic, earning critical successes with any of these and successes if they match their defense symbol. If you roll fewer successes than your target, the attack ends and nothing else happens. If you roll equal successes, you drive your target back, pushing it one hex away from you. If you roll more successes than your target, or when driven back your target doesn't have a free space to move to, your attack is successful. Deal wound tokens to your target equal to your attack's damage characteristic. If a fighter ever has wound tokens equal to or greater than their wound characteristic, they're removed from the board. Your opponent takes two glory points as a reward. To take the charge action, simply move, then take an attack action. Afterwards, take a charge token, which shows this fighter cannot be moved or chosen for attack actions again this round. To take the guard action, take the guard token. For the rest of this phase, when this fighter is attacked, it can't be driven back, and both of these symbols count as successes on defense rolls. After resolving an action, both players have the chance to reveal and resolve one power card from their hand, which offer fighter upgrades or special actions. The round continues until both players have flipped their four activation tokens. Now, follow these steps. 1. Check, reveal, and score any fulfilled objective cards. 2. You may discard any objective or power cards. 3. You may play any power cards. 4. If you have fewer than 3 objective cards or fewer than 5 power cards, draw back up to 3 and 5 cards respectively. 5. Clear all move, charge, and guard tokens, and flip over your activation tokens. And 6. Start a new round. The game continues until one warband is eliminated. The surviving player wins the game. Ready to play? Both players choose a warband, taking its matching miniatures and cards. Both players roll off. The winner decides which side of the game board to use, and the loser selects their territory first. Next, both players shuffle their objective and power decks, then draw three objective cards and five power cards. If you'd like, one time, you can discard as many cards as you'd like from either hand then draw back that many. Now, roll off once more. The winner chooses which player places their fighters first. Taking turns, 
both players place a fighter on one of these spaces within their territory. You're now ready to play. If you like Dreadfane, you might also like Combat Arena, another exciting miniatures combat game from Games Workshop. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking it and subscribing to The Rules Girl for more rules videos.